This is Dr. Chris Cruz. I'm a glaucoma specialist working in Miami in the Center for Excellence in Eye Care. What makes the Cyclo G6 laser system unique is that it delivers energy, but it delivers it in a segmented fashion in which the laser is off for two thirds of the time and on for one third of the time. By limiting the energy needed, we can have the same effect in pressure lowering while maintaining less trauma to the tissue and less thermal effect, thus causing less inflammation and less post-op complications. So the Cyclo G6 laser system is very simple and that's one of the things I like about it. You only have to connect two cables to it. One is for the foot pedal and the other one is for the power system. You turn the key and the machine turns on. The first knob controls the time. The second knob controls the power in milliwatts. We can adjust the power. My settings start at 2000 milliwatts and I, the highest I've gone is to 2500. The seconds of treatment time, I vary between 50 seconds and 90 seconds. Insert the MicroPulse MP3 probe into this input. You turn the knob until it's secure in place. Once it's locked in, the machine will confirm. This is the MP3 MicroPulse probe. The MP3 stands for parts planar probe. You will notice that the probe has a curved edge and a flat edge. The curved edge goes right along the limbus area and the flat edge it goes away from the limbus. The curved edge also has a small notch and you want to hold the probe perpendicular to the eye as you treat the inferior and superior hemisphere. In this particular case that I'm doing, this patient is getting a cataract surgery with a toric intraocular lens and the micropulse laser system. For this patient, we use topical lidocaine gel. Then I made a paracentesis and I inserted lidocaine 1% into the anterior chamber. In some patients, you sometimes have to add some subconjunctival lidocaine to tolerate the procedure. Other doctors prefer to give a peribulbar block or retrobulbar block. When we're performing the micropulse laser, we're basically sliding the probe from side to side. We first treat the inferior hemisphere and then we do the superior hemisphere. I tend to avoid the three o'clock and nine o'clock position. We basically do a painting motion. Um, the edge of the probe is right along the limbus and this energy is being delivered mainly into the pars plana area. The design of this micropulse tip applies the energy more towards the pars plana area of the eye. It's further away from the limbus, thus causing less trauma to the limbal stem cells and the cornea. That's one of the main differences between the regular G probe and the micropulse probe. Once the laser is done, I inject a small amount of dexamethasone in the subcanyontival area. I leave the patient on their glaucoma drops and I put them on prednisolone drops twice a day for a week and a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agent once a day for about a week. Post-op inflammation is minimal and usually within the first week or two, it's completely gone. The intraocular pressure tends to decrease within those first two to three weeks. That's when you tend to see the pressure drop. Once you start seeing the pressure come down, you can start taking them off glaucoma medications. I hope this video was helpful. Give Cyclo G6 a try. I hope you have a good experience with the MicroPulse laser and that it gives great benefits to your patients.